Hello beautiful people, my name is Amanda Zitto. I normally make travel vlogs, how-tos, and general encouragement for you to get out and do the thing. A few of you may remember that in 2016, I quit my job and I lived off of my motorcycle for two and a half months. That project was called The Pilgrimage. Well, we're four years later, I have a much better job than I did then, and I'm not quitting my job this time, but I did get approved for a leave of absence, and this time, instead of just doing a loop of Montana, I'm doing an 8,000 mile loop of the United States. I'm calling this project Flight of the Magpie. Something that I thought a lot about during the pilgrimage was just how much I hadn't seen of my own state. And getting closer to the end of the pilgrimage, all I could think about was how much I haven't seen of my own country, the whole of the United States. It's huge. Well, it's four years later, <laughs> but a little bit longer than I probably would have thought was gonna take, but it's happening. I'm doing a loop of the United States in one month. <laughs> Partially because that's the amount of time that I could get approved by my employer without quitting. Uh, <laughs> this is gonna be one of the most ambitious trips that I have ever taken on. I'm stuck to say that I'm gonna be doing it on Briarios and I'm gonna be leaving August 17th, about a week and a half after Rocky Mountain Roll. It's definitely not ideal. And I've definitely listened to a few of you who voiced your concerns about the amount of mileage that I'm undertaking in a relatively short span of time but I think I can do it. <laughs> and if I can't, well, hopefully my coworkers will forgive me if I'm a little late. <laughs> I have so many places that I would really love to visit. And so many of you have put forth your ideas of places that I should visit. And I'm trying to, to be more realistic this time than I was on the pilgrimage, except that even though I may put forth my route that I really, really wanna do. I'm just gonna accept that goals are gonna be my main priority this trip. I'm not going to set a designated route. That way, you know, when weather happens or if roads are closed or if I have to take a detour because of an accident or because, knock on wood, any mechanical issues, <laughs> that I won't be as bummed as I was on the pilgrimage when I couldn't go to Plenty Wood because of this ginormous storm that rolled through. My leave date is coming up really fast and having Rocky Mountain roll between me and that date means that the amount of time that I have to prepare is actually shortened by half. <laughs> There's still a few things that I need to do to prep and get ready for this ginormous journey. Um, most of the stuff I already have, which is great. Um, I am slowly upgrading a couple more pieces of gear to try to lock down my packing process so it is as compact as possible because as you know, space is more of a premium on Briarios than it was on the Tiger, so. <laughs> I've got a new tent, which I'm so excited about. I've got a new luggage rack. I'm getting bark busters for Briarios thanks to a wonderful patron. I may have something in the works with Wolfman luggage that I'm really excited about and I will definitely share with you if and when it gets here. I need to do a test run with that tent. I need to do a fully loaded run with the motorcycle once everything is on it. Yeah, so today I'm just gonna to add a couple of the little things that I have sitting around here while I wait for everything else to come in the mail. So, <laughs> well, we'll start that. All right, tool tubes mounted, luggage rack mounted, new 
USB charger installed. I think that's gonna bring us to the end of this episode, you guys. So I hope that you've enjoyed this little video. <laughs> I'm getting super stoked for my trip. I hope that you are too. If you like these kind of videos, make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button. If you would like a little bit more inside information, you can join us over on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. You get early access to videos like these, ad free. You get early news and more information about my upcoming trip and all the good things. I also have been doing little tiny secret videos for patrons as I practice using KineMaster for the first time. But as always, these videos will be free and up for your enjoyment. If you cannot support me financially right now, I 100% understand. I do have t-shirt stickers and all the good things with my motorcycle art on them on Etsy and Rebable if you would like to peruse those. Links down in the description to all of that good stuff. In the meantime, guys, I will see you later. Oh, question for my end screen crew. What are your favorite mods that you have done to your motorcycle in the help of long, distance travel. Did that sentence even make sense? Probably not. <laughs> Bye guys.